In this video, we're going to talk about how to use your IPVO Presenter software with the new IPVO Ziggy Document Camera. To get started, let's make sure that you have the software installed on your computer. If you don't have the software, you will have to go to Software Center by searching Software Center in your Windows menu and then find the IPVO Presenter software. So what I'm going to do is search for Software Center, open it up, when Software Center opens up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for IPVO Presenter software. The important thing is that you want to download the green one. You're going to want to make sure that you have this software installed. I already have it installed and I have the shortcut on my desktop, so let's go ahead and open that. When you open the IPVO Presenter software, just move this over to the side. Notice that your Ziggy Plus is the one that's connected through your USB connection. You can take snapshots of whatever it is that you are displaying with your document camera. You can freeze the display if you want to. You can also toggle the display mode of your document camera so you can have guidelines for how you frame items that are under there so you can select uh, three by three or you can divide the screen in half if you need to. Let's go through the menu items under the camera setting. The first one is to zoom in and zoom out of your items. This is a digital zoom. The next item is to mirror what it is that you are seeing or viewing with the document camera. You can rotate your image. So if you have either a landscape mode document underneath it or a portrait mode, you can adjust that digitally. Next is your camera resolution, which you can adjust if needed. You can adjust the exposure. So you can increase the exposure if you need to brighten up your subject or you can make it lower. You can adjust the white balance of your item depending on the lighting in your room. You can also adjust the focusing of your document camera. So if you need to focus in on something specific that autofocus doesn't match up with. Finally, you have filters. These aren't Instagram filters, by the way. Under the review menu on the left side of your screen, you have all the images that you've captured these are, of course, saved to your device's hard drive also, but you can manage them within this menu. You can export them as a PDF, which is really nice, or you can export them to another folder other than the default one. Notice at the top, you can see all documents, whether they are photos or videos or even time lapses. You can delete your files from here. Basically, you can manage all of the files that you have captured uh, with your document camera using this menu item. The split screen menu item is a great feature for the IPVO Presenter software. One of the great things about this feature is that you can freeze one half of your display and then keep the other half live. Also, if you notice, there are these greater than symbols at the top of each half of the display. From here, what you can do is you can manipulate a menu that pops open and you'll have many of the same features for captures that you do. Finally, we have the settings menu. Under settings, you can adjust and fine tune many of the options that are available within the IPVO Presenter software. You can choose the default location of your library, which is good if you don't want your files saved to just your documents folder. You can choose how you adjust snapshots, how you record, and finally, just general information about the software. That's it. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to us in, in Instructional Technology or contact your building technology support staff. Thank you.